Hello guys again and welcome back to another video and today I have this automatic soap dispenser well and after one year it stops working I have charged the batteries batteries are fully charged well I think uh, today it is the day I'm going to disassemble this unit and find out how it looks inside see all the parts and how all the parts combine it together and make the soap dispenser clean our hands at the right moment Let's uh, try it again. Press the button we can see, but press again. Nope. Blue, it is the low, and green, it is the high. But it doesn't do anything. Maybe the sensor is not working. We're gonna find out. Let's remove that, and inside we'll get this tube taking all the detergent and clean your hand remove the rechargeable batteries and we've got I can see four screws at the battery compartment let's remove Oh, okay, we've got some screws, another two screws here. Well, I can see the screws are a little bit rusted at the head. Okay, there we are. Okay, perfect. We've got rust at this screw, a lot of rust. Less rust here. This screw is clean. Then we've got this board. This board, it is if you want to use it with a power adapter, you need a six volt power adapter. Great. Now let's remove the cable from the main board. Here's the main board with a button. And here is connected the pump. Let's remove the three screws are holding the pump at the plastic. Okay, <laughs> I think this pump has seen better days. There is a lot of soap inside, as we can see. Oh dear. Okay. Remove and the board, slide the board, remove the board. Okay, this tube, it is the inlet of the soap dispenser here. Takes the soap and this is the outlet, goes to your hand. Nothing else. Okay. Well, let's see what is the problem here. I can see this block inside, a lot of black things inside. Okay, well, let's remove that. Oh, just broke it. I think the rust has damaged this rubber and just break it. It is not any more elastic. Oh, what have we got here? Oh. Okay, we've got this. Perfect. Now let's remove and the other three screws. Oh, <laughs> that is a long screw, small. And there is the pump inside with this motor okay well let's remove in that oh there we are what we've got in this 
plastic, this uh, rubber inside. And I think I may find the problem. Oops. Inside there is a piece of plastic is blocking all the tube and the detergent it cannot come through the tube and then from this outlet. Great. Well, let's remove that and see what it is inside. Now, there we'll get the board, we'll get the LED light when turns on from this button, turns off and changing the low or high mode for the detergent. And then we'll get in this sensor, sense my hand, give the command to the motor and we've got the, the shop at my hand from this uh, outlet. Perfect. It is a typical board. Nice. I think it's time to clean everything and see if we can reinstall it. And there is the small plastic that is blocking the old process. Okay. <laughs> now, after I have cleaned all the parts, let's assemble everything. That goes here. Perfect. Three screws. <laughs> okay, seal it very well. We get this plastic. Three screws. We have this adapter and inside there is and the filter. Perfect. Seal it very well with a rubber and we need to install that at this point. It will be a little bit tricky. I will use this rubber. Hmm, it will be a little bit hard to bend this. It is not soft like that. Well, if I'm not going to install this and only install it directly here, what do you say, guys? Let's try that. <laughs> yeah, why not? See how it goes. Okay, here it went well. Now let's cut that here. Twist it a little bit. And then install that here. Well, let's check if it can fit the board inside. That will be a problem if it can fit. Now I can say it can go all the way inside. Okay, perfect. Definitely it can hold it. Okay, now let's reinforce that. Okay. Then we need to connect in this tube. This tube is connecting here. 
perfect and that that it goes here okay perfect I would like to reinforce in that because you never know Oh, let's connect the pump here and then let's connect and the power okay let's install the batteries just need to check it before we install everything let's turn it on goes here just forget that okay there we are hmm well the problem is with the sensor I can say Sensor is not working. Let's remove the board. Then we'll get the LED. No, nothing. Doesn't keep the command to work the pump. Let's remove the rubber. See what's happening. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> Too much dirt inside. Cleaning that. Now after finishing all the cleaning, I can see we've got a broken connection here in this. Uh... Oh yeah. <laughs> I need to solder that. And it will work. Perfect. Okay, after finishing and the soldering, you can see the LED is flashing. Uh, camera, it can catch this uh, flashing of the LED, not with the eye. And perfect. We need to install in that. Remove the batteries, don't work the pump without a liquid. It can damage the pump. nothing okay problem with the sensor the sensor was very rusted was broken and it is too difficult to weld it uh, broken uh, and rusted sensor maybe I will buy a new one replace it and see how it goes but you are smarter, now you know how it looks as automatic soap dispenser inside. What is the part and what is moving from the tongue this dispenser and have at your hand 
and soap and clean your hand. Well, guys, that was all about. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, it takes only one second. Press the subscribe button and done. Share this video. You never know who may need it. And hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.